Hey, what's happening? It's KMAC. Today, I am super excited to share with you the much-anticipated, long-awaited feature, Plan and Apply on PR, also known as PR Comment Commands. This was highly requested by customers, prospects, and the community who wanted to enable their developers to automate, collaborate, and deploy their infrastructure's code from within their version control system. Here at NF0, we aim to please, so I'm here to deliver the walkthrough. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we are in the N0 dashboard. Uh, I am in my environment of Greenfield Dev. We're gonna go ahead and create a new environment using one of our project templates. In this case, we're gonna deploy an S3 bucket containing a static website. Uh, you can view the code by clicking on review code that'll link to your repo containing the code files. In this case, we have an S3.terraform file. I'm gonna run this code and create a new deployment. We're going to name it KMAC S3 bucket. And from this drop down, you can select which branch it targets. Now, if you wanted to automate, the Terraform plan runs on every PR targeting this specific branch. You can click this checkbox. We don't need that for this particular walkthrough. We're going to go ahead and run that, and that'll create the, the deployment. OK, so we're going to go into settings. And here we're gonna to wanna to enable run PR comment commands using an alias. You can specify the specific alias for this deployment and go ahead and save. Our deployment started, so we're gonna check the resources. This is the S3 bucket that's been created. Oh, but when I visit the URL, it's forbidden. Let's go ahead and inspect our .tf file for any errors. Looking through my S3.tf file, I can see that the ACL for the bucket is public read. But for the bucket object, it's private. So we're going to go ahead and make that change. And we're going to create a new branch and start a pull request. Go ahead and propose those changes and create the pull request. Now that the pull request has been created, we're going to comment N0 help to list the available commands. And that shows us that we have NM0 help, NM0 list, which returns all of the available environments and aliases, as well as NM0 plan and NM0 apply. Let's run NM0 list to find out what our aliases are. And it shows us the alias that we specified earlier, which is the S3 bucket. Now we're going to run N0 plan flag E with the alias of the bucket. And this will kick off a PR plan or a Terraform plan. Now the PR plan is generating. You can see the full PR plan logs on N0. Now from listening to feedback and comments from the community, one thing that was clear was we didn't want to have multiple comments on the same PR. It makes your PRs harder to read and really spams the other users. And that's why we've implemented update in place. So rather than spamming your users with multiple comments, uh, M0Bot will update in the same comment for that PR plan. You can view the comment history by clicking on this dropdown and see the previous comments there. Another important difference from our implementation is that we do not lock your Terraform state files. And the reason for this is that locking state files creates dependencies and delays. Imagine having multiple developers working in different time zones, and one of them has to wait on another developer to unlock or complete the merge in order to be able to continue working. That slows down work, and so that's why we allow concurrency and running in parallel. Now, our PR plan is completed. Here, it's showing you the plan details, cost estimation details, and again, you can see the full PR plan logs on the N0 dashboard. You can see the Terraform plan here with the pretty version of the changes. Ooh, pretty. This all looks good to me. So let's run apply. Again, it's going to be N0 apply flag E using the alias. And that'll kick off Terraform apply. Now it's executing our deployment. Let's go ahead and view the deployment logs on N0. We can see from viewing the N0 deployments that this PR plan was actually kicked off by pull request 102. Let's inspect the deployment logs. N0 apply is now working, as well as the deployment details in the comment. So let's go ahead and vi revisit our URL. Hey, Milton's environment is now working. 
happy Mailton. I'm happy with those changes, so I can go ahead, merge this pull request, and delete this branch. So now we've walked through the new feature of plan and apply on PR, PR comment commands. And this enables your developers to collaborate, automate, and deploy their infrastructure's code from within your version control system while instantly creating an audit trail for compliance. Catch you next time.